Hello and welcome to this live stream tour today of number 33 Palmerston Road in Early. So we have a chalet style detached property, um, probably best described as a TARDIS because as I'm sure most of you will know, uh, when you walk through the door of a TARDIS you're amazed at just how big it is inside. Um, this is a particularly large family home. Um, so let's just start by showing you the location, uh, the road, uh, mainly 1930s properties, um, just around the corner that will take you to Church Road and that takes you off to Early and uh, uh, Woodley sort of direction, spinning all the way around. At the bottom of the road there, that's Culver Lane and if you were going to go to Reading Town Centre, that's the way you go. So, let's now look at the, uh, the house itself. Frontage, first of all, you can see that we've got parking for a number of vehicles. There is a side access just there, leading to the rear garden. So we've got an arched entrance porch, rather nice. Um, and through the front door into the entrance hall. So, before we start the tour, just really wanted to say a couple of things and that is that if you have any questions for me as we're walking around then assuming you're watching this live of course because a recording will be saved online later um, but uh, if you're with me today live then you can type away ask any questions and I'll endeavour to answer them as best as I can um, also you'll notice on your screen there's a request a private inspection button um, if you'd like to book a physical viewing um, shortly then you can just click on that an email will come to us and we'll then give you a call to book in an actual viewing of this property so let's start the tour so we're in the entrance hall and as you can see it's a particularly large entrance hall um, let me just step to one side um, you've got the kitchen door at the end lounge door there in front of me spinning round there's the understair storage cupboard and the staircase leading to the first floor and then turning around there's the entrance door that i've just come through you'll notice the doors have all been replaced with rather nice pine doors and also wood laminate flooring here as well so let's first of all start uh, by showing you the main reception room the lounge so that's this one here. This property does have a bit of character to it. Um, you'll notice in this room, for instance, we've got a, a partly beamed ceiling and rather nice, almost like an ingle nook style fireplace. Just beneath there, you'll notice we've got a multi-fuel um, burner. And at the end, patio doors leading to the rear garden. Let's just take a wander into the room. Let's just show you a view down the garden from here. We're not overlooked, so very, very pleasant, a very leafy view. Just another angle of the lounge, good size lounge. And then focusing on that fireplace there. and the chimney breast. Okay, so back into the entrance hall. Let's just spin around to my right and let's show you the kitchen dining room. You'll see the plenty of space for the table and chairs and then a really nice and a large kitchen. Let's start from the left hand side here. You can see we've got space for an American style fridge freezer base units, work surfaces, eye level units. We've got a range cooker um, and spinning further round. There's the sink unit. And it's a dual aspect room, windows to the side and rear. The windows here in front uh, take you into the conservatory, which I'll show you in just a moment. And as you can see, there's plenty of space there for the table. Just give you another angle, another view of the kitchen. Really feature, it's a feature of this property really. In fact, as you walk around, you'll probably notice all of the rooms are a good size. There's the door going back into the entrance hall. 
let's just turn around and through these French doors, a UPVC double glaze sealed in it, takes you into this conservatory. It's like another lounge, literally. There's a radiator there, you can see part brick, uh, UPVC double glazed with the pitched roof there. And on my right hand side, we've got uh, French doors there to the garden. But also worth, again, reiterating, a lovely view from here. Very private aspect of the garden. I'll show you the garden at the very end of the tour. So back into the house. Let's make our way through back into the entrance hall. So in addition to the kitchen, on my right hand side, we have a utility here. Um, side aspect window, as you can see. Units, freezer space, just an extra room that just takes a bit of pressure off the kitchen. Really useful even just for storage. So then on the ground floor, we have two rooms at the front and on my right hand side, the bathroom here. So let's start to my left hand side. Um, this is, it's not used as a bedroom, but it could be a bedroom. This is used very much as a family room, um, family room office, that sort of thing, you know. We've got a nice bay window there with UPVC lattice glass. Double glazed, of course. Um, yeah, so a nice size room. So that is a family room or bedroom. And then across the other side, we have a room which is used as a bedroom. So this one is very similar to the other with the front aspect square bay window with again lattice double glazed sealed unit double bed in situ there so it shows there's plenty of space and as you can see we've got a freestanding wardrobe across there there is a fireplace around again obviously this could be used as a reception room or bedroom and then on the ground floor to finish just behind through this door here we have a shower room cloak room initial area here as you can see, space for coat hanging, and then through into the actual shower area and the toilet area. There's quite a wide wash basin with a vanity covered under. Um, just show you the shower in a bit more detail because a corner shower, as you can see, with body jets and all sorts. I often joke it's one of those showers that looks like you could fly to the moon in but that's just my sense of humor. Okay, so let's just uh, reverse back into the entrance hall. So that's the ground floor. Um, let's just now take you upstairs and passing the understair storage cupboard here, as I may have mentioned earlier. It's a turning staircase. There you go. Onto the landing, I'm going to point upwards to show you the access to the loft space. So up here we have three bedrooms. So in theory that would potentially make this a five bedroom house or four bedrooms with, uh, with extra reception rooms. I'm going to start by showing you the main bedroom just at the end here. We have a bathroom on this level as well. Um, so this is the main bedroom. Let's just spin round, show you that we've got access through to the ensuite. Now the ensuite actually is a Jack and Jill effect. Um, for those of you that are not quite sure what that means, it means there's two doors, one off the bedroom and there's also one off the landing. So uh, whilst it can be used as a family bathroom, it also is an ensuite. So there's the uh, rear aspect window. However, in addition, in the corner here, we have a walk-in wardrobe. So let's just show you this room. A great addition to any master bedroom. As you can see, plenty of space for hanging. A really quite a nice feature. I'm also going to show you the view that we've got out the back window here um, because it really is quite a pleasant view. Lots of trees, no one overlooking you at all.
Okay, so that's the main bedroom. Let's show you the ensuite shower. So what we have here, uh, you'll probably notice, looks very modern, uh, recently refitted. Quite a big shower cubicle there. Uh, there's the door going onto the landing I mentioned earlier, and then low level WC. But again, nice wash basin here, quite wide with the vanity cupboards under. And nicely tiled walls. And if I just spin round, we've also got a heated towel rail here in the corner. So a very nice ensuite. So back into the main bedroom and onto the landing. Let's show you the second bedroom. Now, when I said that there were three bedrooms up here, there are. However, this room was originally two rooms. So there was a partition wall through the middle, um, um, which obviously means it could therefore be put back up. So we could have four bedrooms very easily up here. And to explain how easy it would be, you've got a window at the back there a window at the front, so each of the two rooms could have windows. You'll notice a radiator there and a radiator there. And of course, most importantly, if I spin round, the door going into the, the other bedroom that was here when this was two rooms is still there. So there's the door that I've just come through. So again, two doors into this room would make it very easy for this to go back as two rooms. But at the moment, it's one really nice large double bedroom and then finally for the bedrooms we have the last bedroom here so if i just step into the room and i need to just spin round you'll see we've got space for the bed there's a wardrobe there and if i just spin round you'll notice the window with a desk in the window and then further space at that end of the room So this is the smallest bedroom, obviously, but for a single room, quite a nice size room. OK, and on this landing um, area, the last room I can show you is the main family bathroom. Now, this again is actually quite large. You can see the wash basin there, heated towel rail, freestanding bath. And then if I step into the room and turn around, You'll notice the low level WC. That's actually the airing cupboard at the end. Uh, but also, turning round, this is a shower cubicle. Quite a large shower cubicle as well. Let's just open the door and you'll see the shower head there. And it's like a double sized shower. So four piece suite in the main bathroom. So three bathrooms in all, uh, four or five bedrooms, or potentially six bedrooms. So yeah, a really interesting property and one that, as I mentioned right at the start, a lot bigger than you might imagine. Okay, let's now make our way downstairs and let's show you the rear garden. Just out of interest, um, uh, I can see we've had a few other people joining us to watch this tour. Um, this property seems to have created a bit of interest because we've got 17 people watching. So uh, I hope I'm doing a good job and uh, it's a property that many of you will want to have a look at. Um, I did mention about the request a private viewing button on the screen and uh, I can see that we had some people requesting viewing. So, like I said, we will be in touch and we'll arrange those viewings for you over the next two or three days. So the garden, yeah, really good sized garden. Let's just make our way down towards the end because we've got a very large workshop on the right hand side there, um, but this is another feature, a timber chalet kind of like a games room, a home office, that sort of thing, with deck patio here. Quite a nice addition to this property and yes, one of those timber chalets that could be used for many purposes. So spinning round, there you go, you get a much better idea of the size of this property from the back. 
and to the right hand side there is an access through to the front as uh, as you can just about see I think you appreciate the size of the conservatory actually from here as well because it is it's quite big okay so that just about brings us to the end of the tour let's just uh, turn round and give you a, a final look at the rear garden so like I mentioned earlier we will be doing viewings uh, for this property in a couple of days time so those people that have requested viewings will be in touch um, if anyone has any further questions call the number on the website my name is Gary um, just ask to speak to me um, alternatively you can request your viewing appointment so it just remains for me to say thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed this tour and we look forward to hearing from you Thanks for watching.